silent night, a dramatization. I put her into the car seat, clipped her seatbelt on. She opened her eyes briefly. Daddy, will we be long? Who would have thought a few moments would pass, an impact from nowhere, the car stopped rolling in the grass. Sarah was moaning in the seat next to mine. To the best of my knowledge, she appeared fine. I turned to the back seat. It was so quiet back there. Oh God, I could see Karen's body hanging from the chair. The radio was playing Silent Night. I could only stare at her face, my precious little angel held there in space. The drunk that hit us had a small cut on his head. The paramedic said he threw up when he learned how George he was dead. He was arrested for drunk driving and released on parole after just one year while we were handed life sentences at a cost so very dear. We didn't talk much. What was there to say? Karen was the light of our life. Now the light has gone away. Our marriage, it was over. It barely lasted another year. Now Sarah's overdosed on painkiller. Diagnosed with manic depression, I hear. <laughs>